Missing the arc. Traders betting against Kathy Wood's brainchild are seeing a pretty lucrative run with a mark to market profit of $2.4 billion in 2020. So far, if you happen to short the firm's eight ETFs, that gain accelerated by a slide in tech stocks, rate hike fears, and rising bond yields. Alexander Semenova on top of it all. And Alexander, we've been talking about this SARC fund for some time. Yeah, Looks very like it's still going strong. Very interesting. It appears that short sellers betting against Kathy Wood and ARC are better off than actual investors in the ARC ETFs. As you mentioned, shorting the fam the fam uh, the firm's family of eight exchange traded funds has investors up a whopping two point four billion dollars in mark to market profits uh, this year per data from S three Partners. That is more than twice the nine hundred and forty one million dollars they made in all of last year. What's even more interesting is that five hundred million dollars of that profit was generated since mid-August as we saw uh, technology stocks re resume their downslide amid renewed rate pressures and rising bond yields, uh, which of course battered the speculative names that comprise much of ARK's holdings. The two most shorted were the ARK FinTech Innovation ETF and the flagship ARK Innovation ETF, both of which are down 60% year to date. With that said, we did see a brief summer tech rally. What happened to some of the short sellers then? Yeah, so before the latest slump, ARC actually temporarily rode that fleeting rally and some of the beaten down names in her portfolio saw a nice bounce. This actually led to a temporary streak of short coverings for these short sellers, buying back shares that were initially borrowed to short sell in order to close their positions out. This usually happens when you do see a stock rise uh, to ensure that you don't uh, secure any losses. However, uh, this has since changed course and short sellers are back to doubling down on their bets against ARK Invest. Uh, they have even been willing to keep their exposure as uh, stock borrow rates for their shorts almost doubled. So that's really telling about how convinced they are mm -hmm. that ARK won't do so well. What's important to note also is that this isn't only necessarily a bet against ARK. It's also a bet that the Fed will keep hiking rates and really batter those beaten down tech stocks even further and more than they've been experiencing. Yeah, it is about some of those high growth companies that exactly. aren't necessarily profitable getting hit on the back of those higher rates. Thanks so much for that. Alexandra.